welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Hi, evening, YouTube. Here we go, here with you this evening to uh, show you what I've got painted up here. That's just a primer. I am. Um, I think I, I know how I want to paint it, but I don't have the paint for that right now, so... Thinking about mocking up the uh, connections here, see how it wor works, and uh, I did test this... Uh, um, not that one. Voltmeter. Works like a charm. Works very nice. Um, so... I haven't really tested the ammeter yet, but th that should be a piece of cake. Well, like I said, probably what I'll do is run the um, this wire here right into the ammeter, and then uh, run a wire back out of the ammeter from here over to that, and connect another wire from there to the. Uh, terminal on the input for the voltmeter and then just that would just leave uh, one wire running from the uh, neutral side to the voltmeter so it's, it's pretty simple to wire um, like I said it's uh, now the, the problem comes in I when, I when I tested this voltmeter I just used a uh, a 9 volt battery but I don't want that I want. I don't want to use that permanent. I, you know, I want to use a, a power source that is uh, plugged in, so that I'll it'll be available and all that stuff. So I think that's what I want to use. So I've got to come up with either um, a, uh, a little small transformer. I've got that that one transformer. I took out of that light, and it's uh, oh, it was 12 volts transformer, but it, it comes up to 13 volts and I don't really want to run that that high. This is supposed to be AC or DC uh, 8 to 12 volts. So I'm going to try to keep it in that range if, if possible. I was thinking one of those little uh, wall warts that puts out 9 volts. They usually run a little high on those and that should be just fine if I can find one. Uh, I didn't have much luck looking the other day but I really did look hard. So I probably will look for that and get that lined up. And I think what I'm going to do is either I may run a switch from the uh, where this power switch is on the uh, Variac and either transfer that switch over to here or something similar to where um, when I turn this, this switch here on everything comes on the, the meters and the Variac all at the same time and uh, I want that to uh, want that to happen so uh, probably the easiest thing to do would be uh, I hate to take that Variac out again but I may have to have to do that um, either that or I could just run it to this this uh, connection here well not here but I mean wherever I plug in the uh, Variac to and put the switch on that put a switch on that and that would uh, would turn it that on and then I'd, I'd have to run a uh, a dedicated line for for that uh, other thing you know if I had a switch like that or a or socket like this and had it switched I could just turn it on and it would turn the variac on and the uh, have a transfer wall work plugged in there and that would just turn everything on and I could do that so I may do that I don't know yet I have uh, let's see two I have uh, two two full outlets strips or not strips but left there I have uh, my charger plugged in for the uh, screwdriver in one this one's completely free there's nothing plugged in there um, so I can always add I've got another one in the uh, receptacles I, I bought another I think I even bought a another box yeah I've got the box and the receptacle I think I've got room right where those um, things are, are put right there so I could put it in there and that could be my switched one for the uh, Variac and for the wall board. So that may be a possibility. Uh, one way or the other I'll get this thing wired up. But the uh, main thing I, I wanted to show you was the fact that this is the one the uh, granddaughter 
drag the box across. I had, it's hard to see, but there's a place there that didn't turn out real good, and you know, uh, a couple of the spots where you could tell something happened, but I think by the time it's finished coated and everything, you won't be able to see it that much, and if you it, if it do, it's not a big deal either anyway, so. I kind of like the way that turned out, so, anywho, I just wanted to make a quick video this evening. Um, like I said, I have no, uh, my company left a little while ago. They were here all weekend, so, um, hopefully I can get this started on this tomorrow and, uh, maybe get some wiring done. I'm not sure, it'll be at least Wednesday before I can get paint to finish this up, so, um, so I, I figure in the meantime, why not go ahead and, and get, get it wired up? I mean, these come in and out. They come in and out of the, the socket there pretty easy. And of course, this screws in and out. That's not a big deal. So I think, uh, you know, that would be the, the way to do it. Just go ahead and get it wired up. And find me a 9-volt uh, wall work. I don't know what this one is here. I could probably tap off of that. If it's, yeah, see, it's probably not really much. It's for that battery charger for that. So I, I, that's probably on a couple of 3 volts or something like that. So I can't use that one, I don't think. But I will find one. I'll find something and get that going. So, uh, everybody have a good day and thanks for watching.